Okay, so a new day, a new project. After days of measurement and uh, charging and discharging, I finally got these results over here. That's my 12 cells. As you can see, there are different capacities and different internal resistances too. The point is that I want to build a kind of uh, 4P3S pack. So that will give me around 12.6 volts for maximum charge and a minimum of 9 volts at maximum discharge. So, how can we put all these things together? So first of all, we have to have, uh, we have to make groups like this. Four cells in parallel. Okay, this goes in parallel. So we have plus, 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 plus over here and another like this, same story, plus, 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 and plus, and another four. So we're gonna have this four rows. First of all, let's say, let's consider this will be the general plus, then the minus over here goes to the plus of the second one, and the minus here goes to the plus of the third one. And finally, over here, we have the minus, general minus. Of course, if we wanna have a, if we wanna have a balance connection or connector, if we wanna have a balance connector, it's very easy to do that, because we got the plus over here, then we take this, like the low voltage, that will be the plus, low voltage, medium voltage, and of course the minus over here. So, these are going into the IMAX, where we have the first the third cell here, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, is this connector over here. And then we can balance, we can balance the back. Okay, so that's the idea of the connection. Now, let's see how we can put these things together to have packs as equal as possible. Uh, shall we take in consideration the internal resistance? or shall we take in consideration the capacity? Well, I think I'll go this time for capacity. And of course, we'll start with the best one. 1.9, 1.9, okay, let's put, this, these are the best I have, let's say, like this. Then, if we take 1.9 and can combine 1.82 from down here, we can have this one point, okay, let me have the worst, this one with 1.9. This can go like this, over here, 21, I think this should go over here, 150, over here, 1524, right there. And I think this one can go here, 16 here, and 18 here. And now let's see if I did anything interesting about. And it's very simple. We just make a 1.19 plus 1.82 plus 1.521 plus 1.545 equals 6.46 divided by 4. And that gives me a medium. So the first pack, let's say, number one, six, four, six, seven, with a medium of one, six, one, six. Okay, let's go to pack number two, one, eight, seven, four, plus one, four, eight, nine, plus one, five, zero, zero, one six zero zero and gives me six four six three divided by four okay 
sorry, 6 is 4. 6, 3 divided by 4. 1, 6, 1, 5. So number 1 and number 2, they are pretty the same. Okay, let's add number 3. 1, 8, 3, 5. Plus 1, 5, 0, 7. Plus 1, 5, 2, 4. Plus 1, 5, so this one is 666 six, six. divided by 4. Okay, 6666 six, six, six. divided by 4, 166.5. Six, six, six okay, this one is a little bit stronger. We can do something, uh, something like this. So, well, I think this is the best I can do. This is the... the the final receipt it's 100 milliamps over here difference but that's the way it is because the cells are not uh, equal anyway it doesn't really matter and now let's put them together uh, four by four so we start with these ones plus on top plus here nice then nice here And there we are. This is the pack. So, these four of them will be in parallel. And it's very nice to have them in the in a proper way because it's easier to... Okay, there we go. It's easier to solder afterwards. Yeah, now it's looking good. So all I have to do now is to put the bus bars and then uh, to add the balancing uh, connectors over here and we are in business. So that's the way to do a very simple 4P3S pack. If you want to add a BMS, it should be really nice. There are plenty of uh, other improvements. But for now, I don't need any BMS because I'm using my IMAX for charging and discharging this uh, battery. And uh, this one will be a new project because I'm waiting. I ordered uh, a new lithium-ion solar charge controller so that one it's made specially for charging from a solar panel or some more solar panels going to the charger of course and then we go to lithium batteries so this will be a first attempt to to charge lithium from a solar panel but we'll see later about uh, how the things are running I'm, I'll be back with some more results after my uh, solar charge is coming thank you for now have a good one don't forget to have fun like and subscribe and in the meantime be safe bye bye